Hey guys, I uh, hope you're well and um, today it's a very exciting day. I'm building my pyramid again. Um, I've been away so I take it down when I'm not here and I'm back for a few weeks so I'd love to put it back up again and I thought I might as well show you how to make your own copper pyramid. Um, pyramids are amazing, amazing geometry, um, very powerful shapes, um, and they've been found all around the world from China to Egypt to Mexico to Bosnia. Um, I'm sure there's plenty under the sea as well. <laughs> so um, they actually um, create a lot of healing for us. They generate negative ions, so a lot of the pollution in in the world creates positive ions. So the pyramids give us negative ions, just like Mother Earth. Mother Earth gives us negative ions. Um, so to be in a pyramid and to have a pyramid structure around you is very balancing for the electromagnetic your electromagnetic field. Um, so it puts you back in balance, um, keeps you energized, gives gives you like amazing dreams, and it's really uh, really protective, beautiful. I love sleeping in my pyramid. I put it on my bed and sleep in it. Um, so yeah. Um, so what you'll need to make your own pyramid is you'll need you'll need some copper tubing or copper piping. I got this off eBay. Um, so you need eight pipes, eight pipes of copper, and we use copper because it's very conductive to the energy um, that's generated by the pyramid shape, copper or gold, basically. Um, the Great Pyramids in Egypt was. Um, it's basically quartz, quartz and uh, limestone, I think. Um, but when I went there, you know, all, it's all basically filled with quartz crystals. It's amazing, full power. Um, you'll also need some tape um, and some string and something to something heavy, so heavier than the string to sort of push down the copper uh, piping. Um, I've used a paper clip so it's just easy um, but yeah you can use anything that you think will work um, so yeah let's let's create our pyramid um, one thing I would say um, would be to use the golden ratio uh, proportions um, because obviously uh, it it brings amazing energy more amazing energy to you than it would if you don't um, so you can easily do that on the internet use a pyramid calculator um, and cut the copper pipes which is what I did I've done already um, so yeah I would suggest you do that and um, yeah let's do this guys <laughs> okay so you cut your copper to the correct size for your space and um, now we want to split the eight copper pipes into two groups. So we have the longer ones, um, the longer copper poles, we want to keep them and the shorter ones, we hold them for the sides. The longer ones will be for the base. So um, if you grab your weight and your string, I've tied my string to my paper clip and simply it's really really simple all you've got to do is thread the weight or the paper clip through the pole so you want to get enough string um, so you can just thread it through quickly um, and yeah just thread it through the trick is to sort of tap it to make it go down quicker and 
it's actually a lot easier standing up it's a lot quicker standing up okay nearly there <laughs> Yeah, and then we have one, and so we do that for the next four poles to the base to make a square. So we just carry on. We go. So yeah, keep pulling the string until it's as tight as you can get it, and then tie it in a knot in a couple of knots. Okay, so now you've got your base in place. You've tied your string tight enough. So the square holds its shape even if it's moved um, and next we want to grab the other poles for the sides okay so let's grab two poles and then simply just do the same thing to spread through the pipe, stand up, there. it's um, quicker. <laughs> so they're facing the opposite sides, the ends of the poles, and then we tie them to the base. Um, so do that now. So once that's done, grab your last two poles for the next two sides, and then do exactly the same. Okay, so then last, tie them again to the sides. Look. Once you've tied the whole um, pyramid together and it's still on the floor, um, next you want to grab your tape and start making some long bits of tape so you can just grab when you need it. I've made seven or eight long bits of tape um, just to, so it's there when I need it and it's best to use sellotape. Masking tape and gaffer tape don't work as well. Um, sellotape has definitely been the best for me to keep my pyramid up and stable. It's very important um, to have some good tape. So, so what we do, basically just bring up the sides of the pyramid so there's one side and then then okay you've sort of got to do it together so you've got to bring the two sides up together and so you can get to a stable point um, you don't have to worry too much about it being equal right now, we'll do that in a bit. Okay. So if you grab your string again, we'll do a, one last knot where we'll tie uh, the top four poles, pipes, poles, together. So I'm going to tie them a good, good few times as well. Okay, so once you've tied the string of the top um, together, so they're all connected by string, now it's a bit fiddly to get them all at the same um, level. So what I found is by using a little bit of tissue, um, just to place it in the middle. So once you've got a good, um, they're all like aligned and in sort of the same place. Um, grab some tape. And then I get, so once you're happy with the top of your pyramid, um, fiddle about with it until you get what you think is um, perfect. I'm such a perfectionist. But yeah, um, until you think it's good and stable. Grab some more tape. And now we want to put these on the, the joints on the side so everywhere the copper joins we want some tape to be wrapped around it securely and tightly so let's do that okay so once you've done that and your pyramid is a lot more secure you've taped all of the sides of the joints and the top um, 
What I love to do last but not least is add a beautiful crystal for the top of the pyramid. Um, I'm using a rose quartz here, but you can use any crystal that you would like. So I would suggest quartz. Quartz is one of the most powerful for amping up the vibrations. Um, rose quartz is amazing for unconditional love, very heart based. So, um, yeah, so just simply just put it at the top and sellotape it again. <laughs> you know, sellotape is the one. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now we have our beautiful pyramid. Um, it's up and it's ready to be used. So um, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've made your pyramid too and have fun soaking up the amazing vibrations of the incredible pyramid you know um yeah if you liked this video and you enjoyed it please um yeah so share it share it with whoever wants to build their own pyramid and um thank you so much thank you for liking subscribing sharing uh, have a beautiful day and namaste loves meditation time <laughs>